Welcome to APA formatting for assignments. The first thing we're going to work on is the cover page and the title page. The title page has a running head at the top left of the page with a capital R, lowercase h, colon, and an abbreviated title that is all in caps. On the top right of the page you have the page number one. In the center of the page you have the full title followed by a double space, your name, double space, followed by the name of your university. In the lower center of the page you write impartial fulfillment for the requirements for the name of your course, double space, your professor's name, double space, and then the date. The next page is the abstract page and it is a page two. Notice that the abstract page begins with a page header, all in caps, which is a shortened version of the title. Notice that it is page 2 located in the top right and that the label abstract should appear in uppercase and lowercase letters centered at the top of the page. The contents of the abstract should be a single double spaced paragraph without paragraph indentation. The abstract is a short summary of the contents of your paper. Typically it will be about 150 to 250 words which requires very concise specific writing. Check the sixth edition of the APA publication manual on page 25 to 27 for more information. The abstract is placed on a page by itself. It is usually written in the third person. That is, do not use I or me. It should seem like someone else wrote this section. You can, however, use personal pronouns elsewhere in the paper. The APA format does not require the use of third person. The next pages in your document are the content pages. There can be several content pages. The first content page is page 3. They also have a page header at the top which is all in caps. This is similar to the abstract page. The content pages have headings which should be centered and bolded like in this example. Notice also the paragraphs are indented and left justified. Content pages can sometimes have in-text or embedded citations which can take several formats. The most common includes all three element parts in parentheses like this. For example, the names of the authors, comma, the date of the year, comma, followed by a specific page number. However, if you have used some of these elements in the sentence, you do not need to repeat them. For example, over here, as noted by the name of the author, the date, comma, then the quotation, followed at the end of the sentence by a specific page number, then continued on with a new sentence. Or, if you need to make a second or third citation of the same reference, you could write, as noted by E.B. et al., and notice that it is et, then all, with a period after the L, then the date, followed by the quotation and a specific page number, and then going on with the sentence. The last page of your document is the reference page. Your references must be in APA format. Consult the sixth edition of the APA publication manual. A common APA error is that students try to use the author's entire first name. Another common error is capitalizing the title of the work incorrectly. You should only use the first initial. When you use a title in a text, you capitalize the important words. However, in references, you capitalize only the first word of the title and subtitle, plus any proper nouns. But once you learn APA format, it does get easier. Yes, I know it can be tedious. Here is an example reference page. Notice in the top left of the page there is a page header. It is all in caps. It's the same header that was on your abstract page and content pages. In the top center of your page there is a title with the first letter capitalized and the rest of the word in lower case. Notice it is double spaced before the first reference. The second line of the reference is double spaced with a hanging indentation. The reference is also left justified one inch from the left margin with a double spaced second line and a hanging indentation. This has been a short summary of the basic APA formatting for written assignments. If you want to learn more, check the sixth edition of the APA publication manual.